Howdy everybody. How we doing? I'm riding kinda high right now. Um, as Brody, hello, how are you? Um, so as you can see, I'm not wearing my glasses. I usually wear my glasses, but believe it or not, I used to not wear glasses very often. Um, I actually had an audition tonight, and uh, it went okay. Um, I kind of blanked toward the end of my monologue, but I think I recovered enough. <laughs> um, but my song went really well. I feel really good about that. Um, so that was great. I haven't done that in years. Um, so it was, it was kind of cool. Um, but as you can see, I've got Drago in here. Ooh, actually I need to do one other thing. Um, because tonight, what I thought we would do is we would do some of the things that we have not yet done here in Pokemon Crystal. Just, just a few things that I want to show you all. Um, so here we are going to deposit... We're going to deposit Lucius for now, because if we're going where we need to go, we need to leave a slot open. And I think I've described this to you. So here is Mount Mortar. Um, it is very interesting. It is a huge... <laughs> it is a huge mountain. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Right in kind of like the north central area of Johto. As you can see, there's a waterfall right there that we might go go through. And I don't really remember how to get through here, honestly. Because um, right there, as you can see, there's a strength rock. We can't go through there because um, it'll still block our way. And this is the way that we could have gotten to Mahogany Town early. I'm just going to lead with Rupert. Um, there aren't many trainers in here, um, and as you can see, this guy's at level 17. Because, like I said, you can pop over to Mahogany Town through this little passage. Um, and I'll show that to you. We'll just get rid of his Nido Queen here as well. Goodbye, thank you. Um, I lost to some kid. <laughs> I'm not just some kid, bro. Um, so as you can see, we're now kind of on this side. Well, Hyper Potion, how about that? And there's an item up there we can grab eventually. But as you can see, we'll hop down here and we are right by Mahogany Town. Hello! Um, you have missed a lot. We have done blue, Brody. We have done basically everything in Kanto. Um, the only thing that we haven't done story-wise is Mount Silver, which we will get to. But I want to kind of do some, like, you know, like I said, some, uh, what's the word? Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous things. Uh, let's see. We'll keep my repels going. In later generations, man... It has this beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous feature where you, um, when you run out of a repel, it'll say, your repel has run out like it does in this game, but then it'll ask you if you want to use another one, which is sick. Um, and as you can see, I'm going to kind of like fumble my way through Mount Mort. I'm going to fumble my way through a few of these things today. Um, because these are things that when I do my playthroughs, I don't usually do. Um, because this mountain is entirely optional. Look at this huge waterfall. That's super cool. So we'll hop up, up here. I don't know if there's anything up here besides like some items. Like a flow over here. Yeah, there's nothing. What we got back here? Um, we have this fella. See, right there, in a later game, it would say, Repel's Effect wore off. Would you like to use another? <laughs> Yo, Marcus! <laughs> what? <laughs> um, but, see, here this Seedra's at level 39, 
because you need Waterfall to get through here. So in theory, you would have every gym badge. I uh, love to see that miss. There we go. And that'll do it for the Seedra. Um. Yeah, I think when you go up the waterfall here in Mount Mortar, I think this, yeah, there's nothing going on here. I want to say it's all um, items, but I might be wrong. Because you can kind of surf through... <laughs> yeah, Brock's not really ever going to live a surf. Um, we did destroy Brock. It was truly, truly a bloodbath. So this is actually where I wanted to go. Um, if you get up the waterfall here in Mount Mortar, you go through this big cavern that has like a lot of ledges, a lot of stairs, a lot of little spots where you can surf. Um, and it's very easy to kind of lose your way through here. And I am certain that I am going to lose my way at some point. Um, and it is just a combo of walking and surfing, walking and surfing, and picking up some lovely items. TM40, I actually don't know what that is. Um, another great feature in later games is that when you pick up a TM, oh, a defense curl, how about that? I didn't even know that was a TM in this game. Um, is if you pick up a TM, in later games, it tells you what the TM is. All right, so we are going to keep... Where are my repels at? There we go. But um, today was Friday. I don't usually stream on Friday. I've kind of gotten into like a Monday, Wednesday, Saturday groove. Um, but some things came up this week. And I had some time after my audition today, so I thought it would be a good time to stream now. I'm just a little later than our normal time here on the, on the old SCG Twitch channel. Ooh, a dragon scale. Um, I know, Defense Curl is a TM. I did not know that. Um, so we got the Dragon Fang. This is a dragon scale. It's just called a rare dragon type item. I know someone on YouTube is gonna tell me what this does. I forget what it does. I remember now. <laughs> I remember now. If you um, <clears throat> trade Seedra holding the Dragon Scale, that's how it evolves into Kingdra. And there are a lot of those trade evolutions like that. Uh, Porygon evolves like that. We talked about Scizor and Steelix. Um, and of course, we have Seedra there. So here, this is kind of like the big prize of Mount Mortar, if I am where I think we are. Um, let's give this iron to somebody. We're going to give it to Sinaiquil. Because Sinaiquil always needs a little something something. So that's the, the ladder we just came out of. And we're still not quite there yet. Um, this is a big, kind of twisty, again, completely optional dungeon. And let's use this max repel. Um, there we go. Another max potion. Sick. So again, tons of items in here. And really the big thing in Mount Mortar... Um, is one specific battle that you can get into. And this special trainer is hiding at the very back of Mount Mortar. And I get the feeling that we're gonna run into him very soon. Um, let me go down here. There we go. Um, oh, it buffs dragon type moves in Gen 2. Awesome, thanks, Brody. I didn't realize that. So here's our man. So way back in the, in the cold recesses of Mount Mortar, we have, this is actually really cool, I'm gonna say it really quick. So this guy right here, he is a karate, he's a karate guy. Hey, I am the karate king, I train alone here in the dark, you battle with me, Whoarg! This guy 
is the karate guy that you fight in Generation 1 at the dojo, if you remember. That's how we got our Hitmonlee in our yellow playthrough. And, again, he has a Hitmonlee and a Hitmonchan. Um, and when you defeat him... Well, I'll just show you. Because we should be able to do this really quick. Because, again, his Pokemon are level... I think they're both at level 34. I don't really know why. Because, again, you need Waterfall to get up here. And this is kind of like a really cool hidden fight that it's really easy to miss. Like, crazy easy to miss. Like I said, I never do this this cave on my playthroughs. Um, but we're just going to one-shot both of those. And... War got beaten. He gives you. I I'm crushed. My training is still not enough, but a loss is a loss. I admit it. As proof that you defeated me, I'll give you a rare fighting Pokemon. So, our Karate Master here gives us a Tyrogue. It's a fighting type Pokemon. Oh, I'll keep training too. Farewell. Hell yeah, dude. Um. So, he gives us this Pokemon. Let me show it to you. Oh, that's not it. He gives us this Pokemon. He's just a little guy. It's another baby Pokemon. He's at level 10. All he knows is Tackle. This guy, Tyrogue, can evolve into Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, or Hitmontop. And it's very interesting because if his attack is higher than his defense, he'll evolve into Hitmonlee. If his defense is higher than its attack, it will evolve into Hitmonchan. And if its attack and defense are equal, it will evolve into Hitmontop. Which is neat. I like that. Um, and it makes sense for it to be balanced for Hitmontop. He's balanced. It's cool. Um, Tyrogue's a really neat Pokemon. Um, really hard to use him, like, in a playthrough. Because, and I think if we strength out of here, that'll kind of give us a shortcut. We're going to do that. Um, it's really tough to use him in a playthrough because, again, you can't get him until you can use Waterfall, which is kind of, like, punishing <laughs> and, like, hard. Oops. Wow, and that takes us, like... Oh, so if we would have went gone in this uh, first ladder here, instead of going up the Waterfall, it would have just spat us out right here. Like you can see, we can surf all around here, we can pick up some items, but unless we do the old waterfall, we can't really get up to where Tyrogue is. So yeah, there are a few more items uh, lay ar laying around on the floor in Mount Mortar. Um, But, you know, you guys can grab those on your playthroughs. I'm not going to be too fussed about grabbing absolutely everything. I will grab this guy. A PP up. I actually just used our last PP up on Earthquake for Heracross. We picked up an escape rope on the that. Hello. So there we are. There's Mount Mortar. I hope you learned something, kiddos. <laughs> um, so, there is something else that I want to do. We're going to hop over here to Olivine City. And first of all, we're going to deposit our friend Tyro because we're not going to be using him this, this run through. And I mean, you know, if you are like dead set on using a Tyro, the moment that you can do Waterfall, you can just go find one. Um, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to withdraw my wife and I am going to teach her a move if she doesn't already know it. I'm going to teach her Flash. And you will see why in a flash. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So we're gonna get rid of, we'll get rid of Rap. We don't need Rap. My wife is just doing some HMs for us. All right, so. We, ooh, let me see what our Ultra Ball situation is. We've got 15. I'm probably going to go buy some more. 
Um, and fun fact, the only place to buy Ultra Balls is here in Blackthorn City when it, when it comes to Johto. At least I'm pretty sure. Maybe you can buy them at the, at the uh, Goldenrod Mart. I might be completely uh, immediately contradicting myself. <laughs> but we'll see. I'm going to sell these max potions. We don't need those. Um, did you know in Gen 2, the Moon Ball has a higher chance to catch Pokemon that evolved with a burn heal? Oh, interesting. I don't know if, if I know exactly what you mean. Um, I do know that the Moon Ball is kind of like glitched, I think. Um, so maybe that's what you mean. Um, all right, let's do a little bit of item management. We'll deposit this max ether. We have some ethers in our bag if we really need something. Um, we'll keep that. Those can be very useful. All right, fam. So what we're going to do is we are going to fly to Violet City and buy a few more escape ropes. <laughs> because I want to have them on hand. Oops, not a potion. Alrighty, so. I think we're finally ready. Now that we have our Ultra Balls, now that we have our Escape Ropes, we'll pop back to Olivine City. Um, and I am going to show you guys, finally, it's time, to show you guys my favorite Pokemon, Lugia. I love my boy Lugia. I did not fight this guy. What? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, so yeah, the Moon Ball is supposed to catch Pokemon that evolve with the Moonstone, but it's glitched in this game. Very interesting. Um, I feel like I've heard that somewhere, but yeah, I didn't know that was exactly it. That's cool. Yeah, a lot of like the balls that Kurt will make you, I just never remember what they do. So. Guys, am I crazy? I really thought we fought everybody in the ocean. I mean, I guess we didn't. But this is weird. Um, very odd. Let's see, War Turtle. Yeah, we'll just stay in. Because I'm pretty sure a quick swift will swiftly um, destroy these Pokemon. There we go. Doodle-doodle-doo. Well, that's like a few more experience points. Actually, guys, I keep boofing it because I realize there's another Pokemon that I really want to have um, for this. So we are going to deposit... We'll deposit Sinaipo uh, for now. And we will withdraw our girl, our special lady, Margo. Because we're going to want that glare. And here is where we can try to catch Lugia in this game. Um, in this game, the only prerequisite is that you need to have the Silver Wing. And if you remember, that random guy in Pewter City gave us the Silver Wing. And we, of course, we need Drago to go through the Whirlpool. Now, folks, honestly, I say this all the time. Someone else is probably going to be the one to show you, like, the complete rundown of the Whirl Islands. But I only remember how to get to Lugia. <laughs> I know that you go to the island in the top right. And you pop through here. And I am going to use Flash with my wife. I hope my wife doesn't Flash anybody. There we go. So if you do this, you hop down here. And you hop again. And you go up to this ladder. Oh! Must have forgotten to reinstate my um, repel. Fun fact, Kingler is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Alright, so now, once you get to that uh, ladder in the top right, you can just pop right down here, just straight down, and there's another ladder. And as you can see, we're already at some water. And the only thing left to do now 
is surf down here. There are a couple items there that, again, I don't know how to get to or I don't remember. But there's a waterfall right here. Let's go down it. And you descend the waterfall into the deep, dark recesses of this cave. And there he is, my special boy, in all of his pixelated glory. Look at him flap. Um, this is Lugia. I love Lugia so much. He is my favorite Pokemon of all time. And I am excited to show this to you. Let's see uh, if we... <laughs> I can't wait to evolve my Nido Gang with a burn heal. That's so funny. Um, all right. So, we're going to save... Um, you finally hatched the shiny Skarmory tech, that's awesome! Look at this guy! His weird little finger wings! Lugia's the man! The man! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! He's great! Um, anyway. Love Lugia, ever since I watched the... Pokemon the Movie 2000. So! In this game, Lugia... Oh, wow. Uh, recover with full HP. That's uh, quite a strategy there, buddy. Um, uh, we'll see what a headbutt does. In this game, you find Lugia at level 60, which means it has already forgotten its signature move, which is... Yes, you came in right on time. That's right. Um, so Lugia has already forgotten his signature move, which is really lame. Um, and it's very interesting. I believe... Um, Lugia and ho -Oh. <laughs> Look at that water bird, it's true. I believe Lugia and ho -Oh are... We're getting the flinch and paralyze hacks. They're both at level 60 in this game. Lugia doesn't know his signature move, Aeroblast, my favorite move. Um, but it does know Hydro Pump, and that will hurt. Ah, oh, but not too bad. Um, so Lugia and ho -Oh are both at level 60. In Pokemon Silver you can catch Lugia before the Pokemon League. It's it's pretty similar to Suicune, how you can catch it, but it's optional. Um, and awesome. It, yeah, it's a lot like uh, with Suicune in this game. You can catch Lugia, but it's optional. However, the Lugia will be at level 40, like the Suicune is. And at level 40, Lugia will still know its signature move, Aeroblast. And... Um, Ho-Oh is a lot, um, is the same way in Pokemon Gold. Because in Pokemon Silver, you get the Silver Wing from the Director, where you get the Clear Bell here in this game. Ah, there's the Recover. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Screech, actually. Um, there we go. Uh, thank you, Tech. Congrats on your Skarmory. Um, alright, Margo did her job, for sure. So, again, um, Ho-Oh is a lot like Lugia because you will get the Rainbow Wing from the director, like the, like we got the Clear Bell in this game, and you can get Ho-Oh at level 40. And Ho-Oh's signature move is... Holy crap, don't kill it. That was a critical hit. Great. Um, Ho-Oh's signature move is a move called Sacred Fire. It's a, it's a powerful fire-type move that always burns, I believe, um, which is super sick. An Aeroblast is a powerful flying type move that has a high critical hit ratio, um, which is super good. Um, so it is really lame that my boy doesn't know his his best move in this game when you catch him. Um, but that's again, that's why we gotta play uh, Soul Silver eventually. Okay, great. So Lugia is just really into starting rain. And, uh, I guess that brings me to... <laughs> I love that water type. Wait, what do you mean it's not water type? So what Brody's talking about is that Lugia is, like, famously should probably be the water type because it, like, lives in the ocean and it learns Hydro Pump and, like, things like that. And this might be rain boosted. This might kill us. Okay, good. Um, yeah, and it, like... 
learns Hydro Pump, all of that. Okay, that's... Oh, it's the fence fell again. Okay. So this will be interesting to navigate with the defense drops here. Okay, one more strength should not kill it. Um, but it brings me to Ho-Oh. Because in Crystal, that was close, you can get the Silver Wing from that guy in Pewter City, and he, uh, you can just come here and catch Lugia. Even though we have not gotten one shake from an Ultra Ball. There's one. <laughs> um, so he, he will just give you Lugia. Um, we're just gonna use my wife for now. Um... It's Flash. Okay, that'll just kill us right away. <laughs> um, but... With ho -Oh, You have to catch all of the legendary beasts. So you have to catch Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. So... That's probably not something we're gonna do in this playthrough. Um, there are ways to kind of cheese it a little bit when trying to run into the Legendary Beast. Yes! Um, Brody, if you have a good Lugia nickname, go ahead and, and lay it on me. Um, but how do Pokemon just forget to use a move? I don't know. It's stupid. I mean, it's not stupid. It's just a game mechanic, but, um, in a real world context, it doesn't make much sense. Let's see. It has an incredible ability to calm raging storms. It is said that Lugia appears when storms start. Name not water. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Let's do that. Not water, baby. But he is awesome. And my favorite Pokemon. Ah, bless you, Lugia. Bless your soul. Um, but what I was saying is in Pokemon Crystal, you cannot catch Ho-Oh until you catch the other legendary beasts. Now, I'm gonna try something. Um, and I'm not really the expert on this. We're gonna deposit my wife, and we're gonna deposit Drago. Oh, the box is full, that's interesting. So I have to switch boxes. This is cool. This is something that you don't have to do in other games. And something kind of really annoying. Um, there we go. So now I have to change boxes again. There we go. Because you can only keep 20 Pokemon in at a time. Uh, we need Lucius, and we need Sinaiqua. There we go. So, uh, <laughs> when we get a ho, we need to name it Is Fire. <laughs> That's really funny. So something you can do is in the Pokedex, you can, like, kind of track where Pokemon are. Like, you can look for area, and right there it doesn't say... Okay, hold on, let me let me give you a better example. We should be able to see the area for Abra. Yes. So here it shows you where you can find Abra on the map, which is a really cool thing. I like that a lot. Now, something that we want to do is that we want to be able to find Entei and Raikou using this same thing. And I think I was wrong. Okay, yeah, there's Suicune. Entei and Raikou would be right there. So you need to see one of them before you can, like, search where they are. And something that you can do is, since Entei and Raikou are roaming, um, they will always be in different spots in Johto. So they always kind of, like... Uh, they always kind of rotate around the region. And if you fly someplace, they'll move. So the only way to do it is kind of like camp out somewhere and just hope that they are around that area and like make their way back to that area. So like, 
You could check where they are on that Pokedex thing. You can go to Ecruteak City, and when you come back to this route, when you kind of like break that seal, they will have moved. So, one strategy you can kind of employ is you can do like a repel on this patch of grass um, that makes it so you won't run into any low-level Pokemon like this Spinarak, but it will still let you run into a like level 40 Pokemon like Entei or Raikou. Um, so... But now, I'm just kind of blindly running around. Um, but that's kind of how I know to, like, hunt them. Um, that's probably not something we'll try to do right now, because that just takes forever. Um, but, uh, that's kind of, like, how you would do it, in theory. Um, oh, there's Stantler. I feel like we haven't seen Stantler. I love this Pokemon. It's really underrated. It's kind of, it's a, just a normal type deer Pokemon, but it has kind of like mysterious psychic qualities, like with its horns. Um, and Stantler actually got a really awesome evolution in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, shout out Stantler. You're underrated, buddy. Um, but, little deer boy, that is exactly right. Oh, we need to heal, because Lugia knocked our, knocked our guys out here. Okay, so again, if you wanted to catch Hello again, you would have to catch all the legendary um, beasts, which we do have one, we do have Suicune, and then when you caught them, you would come back here to the Tin Tower, and maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. When the Brass Tower burned down, three nameless Pokemon were said to have perished. It was tragic. However, a rainbow-colored Pokemon, that's ho -Oh, in other words, ho -Oh, <laughs> descended from the sky and gave new life to these three Pokemon. They are Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. That is what they say. So basically, you have to catch all of them and bring them back here. And then you can, like, ascend the tower to catch um, ho -Oh. Um, Suicune's grass? Absolutely. Um, okay. But again, in Pokemon Gold, that is something that you can do before the Pokemon League. And the and it would be a lot, a lot similar to where you would go get Suicune. Um, alright folks, so with that, I'm gonna pop back over to Kanto, because I want to do a few more fights, um, before we go to Mount Silver. Because there is this route right here by Fuchsia City. And we can clear out some fights here. Where is... Where is Old Bark Town? That's a good point. We never really know. Oh. This music. Guys, the music is so, so good. I know we fought a few. We fought a few of these trainers already. Um, but we're gonna pop back into fighting some of them. But, uh... So yeah, what's your favorite legendary Pokémon in Johto? Mine, obviously, is Lugia. I've said that a million times. Um, but I'm also a huge fan of Entei and Suicune. Raikou's good too, but I, I like Entei and Suicune more. Um... And again, guys... I just kind of wanted to describe to you kind of how the catching ho -Oh, catching the legendary beast kind of goes down. Um, let's see. <laughs> I also love the not water Lugia. Oh wow, this is randomly their highest level ditto. How about that? Um, so something that I will do, we can make our way through these trainers, and then we have... I want to get everybody to level 50. Um, because we have one more battle. One more battle on the docket. I have been teasing it forever, and obviously most of you know. Ah, 
Ah! They're on a field trip to the Lavender Radio Tower for social studies. That's funny. Um, ah, that's right, Brody. You're on it. Um, but it's so crazy that this, uh, this crystal playthrough is, is winding down. Um, it's so, it's bittersweet. Because I am excited to get on to something new. And again, I've played this game a million times. Um, but it's, uh, it's kind of sad. Um, and I don't know if I will grind the squad up to level, level 50 completely on stream. Um, ba -ba -da 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 -da. because again, I remember when we were getting ready for the Pokemon League, I just, I did, a. Uh, <laughs> You're on the red money. Um, I did a grind up to level 40 off screen. I think everyone was at like around like level 35 or 36. And I mean, it was just a lot of me running around in the grass and running around in Victory Road and killing wild Pokemon. Um, you know, that's just not super duper interesting. Uh, let's see. I love taking children's lunch money for bad gambling habits. That is something that pretty commonly occurs in the uh, Pokemon universe. Um, it's, it's a wild world we live in. Um, bop, 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 bop. I think this guy's got some Fearos. And again, why level... Why high level 20s? At least get them in, like, the high level 30s. Like, 38, 39, like, just below the gym leaders, or the Elite Four. Um, I can dream, but I can't ever fly. Aw, oh, man, you'll fly someday. It's alright, man. Da -da -da. Oh, I think this guy has all the Kanto starters. Ah, I had a hard time catching my prize Pokemon. He does have all the Kanto starters. Probably because there's nowhere in this game where you can find them. It is also crazy. Um, because, don't worry, Skarmory does learn the move Steel Wing. But uh, he doesn't learn it until level 29. So, <laughs> not 29, uh, level 49, which is interesting because that's going to be at, like, the very end of the game when it learns its, like, signature move, um, which is, you know, it is what it is, man. It's uh, Generation 2. Uh, Pokemon Gen 1 and Gen 2 are just flawed and I will never, ever abandon them because I am just a true OG. But, uh, if one ever did want to abandon them, I would understand. I would understand. Sorry, guys, my voice is actually a little bit hoarse. Um, it's interesting because I really was trying to practice my audition before my audition without blowing my voice out. And I was worried because I was I was worried that I was overusing my voice. Um, but then I got to the audition and my adrenaline just like fired it fired me up, man. And that's what always happens. Like whenever I do a performance like in theater or um, when I was doing rock shows in LA I would find that even if my voice felt, like, tired that day or I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, um, my body was just like, oh no, we're just going to get really jacked up and you're going to be fine. <laughs> um, really just run on the, agen on the adrenaline there. Um, ah, Nido King is such a cool Pokemon. And lucky for us, it's at a low enough level that we can still one-shot it with a not very effective fire punch. Um, ah! One of the entire reasons that I wanted to <laughs> show you these trainers 
is that this guy has a slow king. Look at this guy! He's awesome! Um, slow poke can evolve into slow king if you trade it with a king's rock. Um, but if you level it up to level 38, it'll just evolve into a regular old slow bro. Um, but yeah, Slow King's a new, cool new Pokemon for this generation, and this is the only trainer that has one, so I wanted to show it off. Um, let's see. Uh, you're telling me, Brady. You're telling me. Do you think we'll be ready? Do you think level 50 will be enough? I'm certainly gonna try. Certainly gonna try at level 50. Um, and see what happens. I mean, I'm not, I'm not doing like a challenge run, so I can, I can use like potions and stuff uh, like I've been doing. But we'll see, we'll see, man. Um, all right, let's pop over here. Um, oh, I feel like that, ugh. Guys, all right, we're just gonna fireball through this because this guy just has like a million low level Pikachus. Um, <laughs> probably not enough, but the power of healing will let us do it. I think you're right. I think you're right. Um, it is funny. I very rarely have the patience for it in my adult life, but I remember in my original, original playthrough of Pokemon Silver, the Pokemon have since been deleted. Is there a secret item here? There's not. Um, I always feel like there's supposed to be. Um, but in my original playthrough of Pokemon Silver, I had a level 100 for Alligator. Um, I also had a level 100 Zapdos that I traded over from Yellow, which I thought was sick. Um, and I think I had a level 75 Espeon. Um, Espeon has been one of my favorites uh, all along, man. We've got some bird keepers here. Um, but yeah, I do not have the... Uh, I do not have the capacity to do that now. Because I... When I was a kid, I would just take that level... 95 for alligator and to level it up to level 96 I would just sweep the elite four with it <laughs> it could just completely solo the elite four um, and that was wildly entertaining to me um, that's just how it was oh yes a ground rock type can wall Pikachu you are completely right um, it's interesting if that is something that we could go to if we do have trouble um, with red, but I, I'll probably try to defeat the Pikachu with Heracross. I don't remember what this is. Um, I think it's just like a Calcium. Um, but again, we don't have our we don't have our Cutter. We don't have our uh, my beloved wife. So I think I'm gonna just make our way up to. Um, Lavender Town here. Oh, here it goes. Via this route. Because, again, this is, like, a famous route for leveling up in Pokemon Yellow. But, uh, obviously, like everything else here in Generation 2, it's just gonna be a little bit less. Um, but there's still a ton of trainers here. It's still a nice place to get a level or two. Um... <laughs> My bell sprout can do it. My wife can do it. The power of love will let my wife fight a Pokemon that is uh, 70 levels higher. So here in Generation 1 is where you get the Super Rod. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I can see that you like fishing. There's no doubt in my mind at all. Oh! So you get the Super Rod here in this game. That's awesome. It's just in the same old spot. Same old, same old spot. Um, and if you remember, this is also where you could find a Snorlax in Generation 1. 
But in this game, the only Snorlax is the one that's sitting there by... Uh, oh, I forgot to switch out. It, the only one is the one that's sitting out there by Diglett's Cave. And it just lets you progress through Kanto. Ooh, we're gonna hit this with... Ooh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say a super effective psychic. Oh, interesting. In Generation 1, Pin Missile was one of the only bug moves that did damage. Fun fact. And it still is one of the only bug moves that does damage in this game, but... Specifically, Heracross um, learns a really cool new bug move that's extremely powerful called um, Megahorn. And I believe he learns that at level 54. If we have to, um, we can get him up to level 54 and he can learn that... Uh... <laughs> Brody, I don't, uh, I don't condone violence. But that's funny. Let's see here. So we just have a couple more mons to get to level 48. Da -da -da. This is a great remix of this track. I think I've said that like three times at this point. But it just is, man. It just is. Um... Oh yes, but Megahorn. Megahorn is a new move in Generation 2. It is a really powerful bug move. It easily became the most powerful bug move when it um, arrived on the scene. And I'm pretty sure in Generation 2, um, Heracross is the only Pokemon that learns it. I Maybe Pinsir can learn it, um, if I'm not mistaken. And we'll just blast our way through these old, uh... Will one Swift take this out? It will not! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. There we go. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a signature move of Heracross when it, uh, when it arrived here in Generation 2. Yeah, again, Heracross, super cool Pokemon, super rare. Many people probably didn't play with it. Have I ever tried Poke Rogue? Um, I have not. Is that kind of like a ROM hack type of thing? You said it's free web browser game. Interesting. I have never tried that. Uh... There we go. Say goodbye, Fisher Kyle. So here we are in good old Lavender Town. We made our way back. Um, okay, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure there are a couple fights here in Right by Rock Tunnel that you can do. Um, um, interesting. All right, I'll try it. Um, I'll try it at some point. Um, it is crazy. Tech is 13 levels higher than this Quagsire, and a fly still only did, like, a little over half. Um. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -doo -doo. So again, we have Rock Tunnel over here. This guy might be the only trainer here in this game. Okay, no, there's a guy there. Um. But, uh. We're gonna clear these trainers out here. There's just a couple of them. And again, Rock Tunnel is like everything else in Kanto. It's pretty neutered. Um, is it still dark in this game? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I always remembered uh, Rock Tunnel was a cool place to catch a Marowak here in Generation 2. Yeah, it's still dark. Still got that mysterious music, baby. <laughs> Just stick to battling tech, that's fine. Um, all right, folks. So, um, next time I see you, I'm thinking we might uh, just make our way over to Mount Silver. I'm thinking that's what, uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm really, really excited about it. 
I will see if I have some time to grind the squad up to level 50. Uh, I know we have some rare candies that we can uh, deploy upon our team. Uh, we'll do that as well. And yeah, it's looking like um, we're probably going to stream on Saturday here tomorrow, so that'll probably be the last episode of Pokemon Crystal. It's uh, It's been a real ride, guys. Um, I have loved every second of it, and I'm excited to share um, another stream with you tomorrow. But with that, thanks for joining me. It was kind of... Uh, <laughs> see you, Brody. It was kind of, you know, impromptu. Um, but it's great as always. And thanks for joining me either now or in the future. And uh, have a great weekend. Have a great uh, month. Have a great year. Have a great life. Peace out, kids. <laughs>